Hey guys, so this is the second time doing this video. Ah, when I'm in, I'm recording a video for the battery, um, space run out, whatever. <laughs> um, this was supposed to be a process video, but it didn't turn out that way because the battery died halfway through. It wasn't like nothing after the first five minutes. Um, and that kind of sucks. Um, but, um, yeah. So this is the layout. Um, I rarely do layouts because I don't think I'm that good at it. And because sometimes I find it really hard to, um, I don't know where the starting point is, I think. When I look at like, layout, and when I like get, get my pictures ready, and then get my products ready, and then like, I, I don't understand how it matches. Um, but um, I think um, I realized that after going through just a single uh, session of, of the Ellie Edwards um, story stamp, um, and I realized that I just really need to start from story, and then everything flows from there. So it's a lot easier. Um, and, and because your pictures have meaning, because of the stories behind the pictures. So, yeah, learn a bit about scrapbooking every day. Um, so, this is a 12 by 12 layout. Um, I used a lot of the elements from um, the Grand Bazaar uh, collection, as well as some uh, other things that, that, that I also had lying around my table, and just used whatever that kind of fits in uh, with what it was. Um, I struggled a lot with using the Grand Bazaar collection in general, because of the colours really bright, and if you go through my channel, I don't usually use bright colours that often. Um, and they're kind of hard to match, right? Um, but I think I really love the the colors in this one. Um, they remind me a little bit of like a um, I'm not being racist here, but like an Indian wedding. Um, and and the colors that they have are bright, and then they they contrast really well with 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 the things around them. But uh, but each of these colors, even though they're really strong, they are not. They work together. They are not that jarring. Um, and so uh, that was uh, one of the reasons why I was so drawn to this collection. Uh, it was just uh, brilliant. So, um, and this layout just really fell together really quickly. And I did it in like 30 minutes to 40 minutes, which is really short uh, on my standards. So I'm going to talk a little bit about like, the story uh, inside of the layout of, of what this uh, layout was supposed to keep. And then maybe like, um, show, like tell you guys about um, this little thing here. So... Um, what this picture was uh, about was this picture was uh, taken on my mi um, mission trip in 20, uh, 2011, 2012, 2011, yeah, um, when I went to Philippines for a mission trip, um, and a lot about the trip really left a deep impression on me and my understanding of, of, of what faith is. Um, and uh, one of the main things that we were doing there, we were part of like a program to help um, the feed the, the children, which is already established there. We, we didn't have to do anything else there, but participate in what was already established anyway. Um, and, um, and, do, and part of feeding program to feed the children, uh, that were, uh, which were part of a um, slum community in a suburban area um, uh, in Morong. Uh, so, when I was there in Philippines, um, one of the things that really shook my faith was really my understanding of what the gospel was. I think um, uh, a lot of us, un unless we have, have gone like like uh, out of our usual comfort zones, we tend to think of the gospel in very theological or very spiritual terms, and our understanding of the gospel is only um, surrounded by uh, spiritual experience. Um, when I was there, the place that we did our ministry in, um, um, was a place that was actually owned by the landowner of that entire plot of land, including those which stayed in the slums. And the people there, they actually had to pay, um, like kind of like a, a rental fee, if you will, to stay in the plot of land that that, that was there. But well, that's how it is, I suppose. And um, what was happening? There was in, in this field that was that was right behind you. See the field there, um, where the feeding program was. The landowner was taking the, the land back. Uh, when I went back again in January this year, um, uh, I was like engaging and talking with the pastor, and then the pastor was pointed to this land that they were they were going to buy, um, and then uh, he was asking me, "Do you think this is the land that God wants for them?" And I remember feeling this sense of awkwardness because I have no idea how to answer that question. Um, I think. Um, we spend so much of our faith considering only things that are that we take for granted a lot. But I think uh, when uh, when the gospel is there, the gospel had to address the 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 power relations uh, that were were there that were unfair. Um, and 
And when I was there, I was like, I was really taken aback by the question because I had no idea how to answer that question. And and that was the thing that I want to remember, that feeling of awkwardness I want to remember that led me on to um, to be part of something that really shaped my faith a lot. Um, and up to now. So, um, so this and that, which is from this cool Elliot Wood stem set, um, uh, was, you'll find the phrase here actually that, um, that the pastor asked me whether that plot of land would be theirs because the because this one will be taken back so this and that um, and what I and remember was because and was one of the things I really want to remember about the photo and and because I started from the story um, the photo really just matched in really well um, I'm probably gonna like write like somewhere below somewhere here like where this location is and when so I'm just gonna put like Morong Rizal 2011 um, and uh, this really came together really well. The backing piece of the, the this thing um, is actually um, something from a really old basics, uh, basic grey collection called Basics, which had all these like neutral uh, color tones and stuff. I wish they brought it back like on staples because that is like the the thing that I think all scrapbookers need. It is slightly grungy but not that much. Um, but it's all neutral colors, and you need this kind of stuff for scrap for successful scrapbooking. So, this is the thing. Um, yeah. Uh, so, let me see. Okay, so um, one of the um, other things that I wanted to highlight was be some of the products I'm, that I use here. Um, where's my stamps? Or oh, inks. So, the, for the this and that, I used, I, I used a Hero Arts uh, Midtone Navy. And for the Remember, I used a Tide Pool Midtone, uh, mid-tone Ink. Uh, for the for this tree paint, I I started playing with this uh, new brand I'm introduced to. It's uh, called Thirteen Arts. It's a Polish um, uh, brand, uh, a mixed media brand, and they have really cool stuff. And they're really inex- inexpensive. Even with the we, we I had a little bit of hiccups for the like the traveling to Singapore part because my the the Sing Singapore post is terrible, <laughs> um, but. Um, yeah, you almost got lost into like oblivion, which was would be really disappointing. But uh, their stuff is really good, and uh, I I know the camera's not probably not gonna pick that up, but do you see that cool shine there on like the pink and the blue? That is so cool. Um, yep, and it's really fine, and it's and it's part of the paint. I don't I think even if you mix the paint yourself, I don't think you can get that sort of cons- consistency. So um, this is the product. Uh, the metallic ones are the one that gives you like the like the shimmer shine thing. Mm. Yeah, cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna play around with these a lot more because I really love the colors. It's very, it's very deep. Uh, it's very rich. So I really love the colors. Okay, that aside, because I'm rambling way too much. Um, okay, I try to do this video a lot of times. <laughs> it never succeeded. Um, and this is probably the fourth time doing a video talking about this project. So, wow. Um, so this is a project uh, done with the Graphic 45 Good Old Spot collection. Um, pretty cool stuff. Um, and um, I really like the paper collection largely because um, the colors were very easy to work with. Um, there were only like three or four main colors, and it was and they were they were the, mostly the primary colors or most like a secondary. Um, and the images were was was rich but it was not uh, distracting um some of the the their collections especially when you play with like the brighter color tones um the the images had something look a little bit distracting and you actually had to do a lot of fussy cutting put them mat them on like a different color in order to make it kind of make sense but this collection uh, comes together really well and rather quite easily um so this is um uh, a tim Holtz book plate to say story and some fussy cutting I did for this. Um, this was the hardest thing to fussy cut, I think. Everything else inside is relatively easy. Um, those who follow me on uh, Instagram will, will know that I actually made some cuts out of some of the leftovers from all, uh, the, uh, of making this album. Um, okay, so this place opened up a place for photos. And I kind of did this like uh, pole thing here to kind of like ground it a little bit. Um, and basically there are lots of space for journaling and photos and I left it as that because I think um, that's what you want your mini albums to be, right? Uh, I will be selling this uh, on my carousel uh, eventually 
um, you have you have time to like take out the pictures and stuff. This is a stem that I carved out from uh, myself. Yeah, I, I took like a picture of a hand. I went through like those stencil creation thingies. Um, used that as the template to to carve out the stem using a speedball um, uh, rubber carving tool, and that's how I got it. Um, this I think it's from the French General Collection from. What's that brand? Julie's Boutique, yeah. Um, P. I didn't get that much of the collection because I, I did want to like get more, but it was too pricey. Um, it was a quick show because I don't want to go through too many things. So... Okay, so those are journaling photos. This is kind of like a waterfall feature, but it opens up this way. So it really gives a lot of like um, room for like the real real estate. Uh, by the way, this is a envelope mini. Um, that was kind of like the base behind some of the behind these things. Um, place for journaling here as well. And photos. It's a lot of real estate. I'm just gonna go through it relatively quickly because there isn't too much things to talk about it. To be honest, um, oops, it's not going in. Oh, I think the magnet is a bit strong. Um, place of folding, journaling. Just keep it shut. Um, this is a Sherilyn die, uh, corner corner die that I went through. It's really cool. Creates this like gear thingy. This also journaling photos tucked in right behind there. This one of the stems that I carved out as well. And frozen journey here. And a photo can tuck behind here because I only glued like only the two sides here. And this has a paper clip. Photos and journey. Simple, cool, and fun stuff. Uh, another like tag here. I'm not gonna pull every one of them. They 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 kind of serve the same purpose. Tags. Yeah, there's another like a uh, uh, hand cast stamp. Yeah, that's Brad Pitt in Fight Club. <laughs> um. This was journaling photos. Waterfall feature. Simple. Uh, some mini tags from like the cutouts that you can get from the 8x8 collection from them. This is a really fun collection, I have to say. Um, and I used up all the, almost every single piece of the of the 6x6. Um, because the pattern was kind of important and it kind of grounds the, the design a little bit. More tags. And more of the tag here. Another tag here. And some more tags here, like it's <laughs> there's lots of tags and lots of place for photos and journaling. Um, and there is another tag here. The final piece, a bit of like um, thing I did here was I used one of the Temple Silver Clubs. I, I had to make it a little bit smaller, so I, I actually dismantled a little bit and uh, fiddle and whatnot and put a brand here. And this becomes kind of like a file sort of thing where I think like um, photos, extra ephemeras, and whatnot can go inside. So um, it could be like uh, something that you have after like uh, watching like a game and then the tickets from there or or movie stuff so what or whatnot. Um, it's really great as a general masculine album, but there are uh, but I like the fact that there are females in the collection as well because um, uh, it gives kind of like a or I would say a fair representation of how sports is like. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching. That was probably the longest rambling you ever heard from me. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as well as this me album, it's really cool. Um, I'll, it'll probably be on sale on my carousel um, after I had time to go take a picture of it and whatnot. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Bye.